Good evening. Hi. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Hello. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And we are Matusu Crafts. And this is Tommy behind me. And oh. Tommy, as usual, is here, oh. ready and waiting, ready for his famous lovely shot of an evening. Every Sunday night you come on, don't you? So, um, ready for his close-up. So, well, he's, he's got no hair this week. Look at it, he's had it all chopped off. It looks really short. It looks really short. <laughs> it know. is quite short, actually. You've lost all your hair there, and I've put it all here. <laughs> cool. All right, so thank you for joining us. Um, so tonight we're going to be playing with the breathtaking bouquet um, stamp set, as well as some other stamp sets to um, to help hopefully complement it. I'll see you get all the highs, Tommy. <laughs> Hi, Sylvia. Hello. <laughs> See, everybody loves you. Okay, yes, yeah, so as I said, breathtaking bouquet is what we're going to be using this evening, as well as using it with some of the others. Uh, well, a few stamp sets, actually. Good Morning Magnolia and the Label Me Bold, um, which is going to complement it. And I don't know whether or not you're going to be using another stamp set as well with it as well. We'll see. We'll see. We're kind I of like chucking it. everything at this card tonight. Yeah, why not? Why so not? rather than sticking with one, because yes. it's a background stamp set, I suppose you really need to have some other stuff with it as well. Yes, and because it's celebration still, you can earn free products when you place a qualifying order from our online shop. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current Stampin' Up! products from our online shop uh, and earn yourself some celebration items, which includes mm -hmm. uh, stamp sets, punch, embossing folder, bundles, papers, embellishments, vellums, vellum, vellum, twine. I think, yeah. Yes. Um, loads of stuff. So yeah, stuff. check and it you've out. Got, you've got it out. So if you've only seen the first release as well, there's also a second release which is due to come out. Um, so some of that the stuff we just mentioned is on the second release, which isn't due until March. So you've got another couple more days to wait or another week to wait and then they'll be available for you to purchase. So phase one is currently available. Phase two starts in March for a month and then you've only got a month to, um, to earn it free of charge. Yes. Do we have so anything good. to show before we start? I don't know. We've um, we we didn't plan that part, yes. did we? Have you got? Are you going to go and grab some stuff? I'll grab right? some stuff. We'll quickly. try and get Tommy off of his lap. Oh, oh Tommy, you're so heavy. Come say hello. So, so what have we been doing this week? So, this one was from our Facebook. Yes, that was what we did for our midweek Facebook Live so video. So using the little ladybug, um, which is a free host time set for a uh, celebration, colored in stamping blends with the label me bold sentiment. There. Oh, and that's the, what's it called? Stone? Yeah, stone embossing 3D folder. 3D embossing yeah. folder, which is again a free celebration item. I'm just plowing through, plowing through. Showing the stuff we can at your show. Yes, because I've actually been quite busy, busy with other stuff. Because we won't be ah. here. We won't. We won't be doing a live video next week. Oh yes, yeah, so we can show you that now. Yeah. This was my project, which I made for our casually crafting blog hop, which went live on Friday of this week. I've actually shown you a video on how to create this little, and it's a really, really simple little box. Um, and what it is, it's just holding. If Jay shows it on its side. It's just got a bar of chocolate in there. Yes. So a very, um, very popular bar of chocolate is in there. So it's designed for a full-size bar of chocolate as well, even though I'm sure they're shrinking and their <laughs> full-size bars are turning into fun-size bars. Yes. <laughs> um, so that's that. So that's using also the um, Tropical Oasis Designer Series paper and the Label Me Pretty um, stamp set. Yeah. I've got confusing because we're using Label Me Bold yeah. stamp set. So the Label Me Pretty stamp set. And there's a coordinating card which we also did live on Wednesday as well. So I which, showed you the card which yeah. coordinates with the actual project. So I think they're quite nice. And this one was using the offcuts of that card as well. So which was quite nice, which was good. Cool. I've done projects for Stampin' Glam Squad for next month already. So uh, you get those free when you place a qualifying order from our online shop. So this month's tutorial is ready and waiting for you to um, earn for free. Uh, and uh, 
the theme for this month is for the kids so some um, kids cards and um, projects there for your inspiration um, and this one got a lot of interest from paper craft crew which is again uh, the little ladybug flowers label me bold stamp set I love that stamp set especially the um, sentiment and uh, ladybug dies as well so it's black on black with a pop of color yes we've had a lot of requests for this one for a video or some kind of tutorial and there is a blog on it isn't there there is a uh, explanation of how I did the card on the blog yes hello um, oh. So yes, yeah, so are you going to do a some kind of tutorial? Hint, hint, not, hint. Not sure, not sure. And I've been I've been busy today you though. You sidestepped that one quite quickly, didn't you? Creating for the Creating Kindness blog hop, uh, which you can just see up there. There. Uh, so that's in, in two weeks time. Uh, and next Friday, uh, not this coming, this coming, no, this coming from Friday, uh, is the first stamp global stamping video hop that mm. we're part of so check that out uh, make yeah. sure you subscribe to our channel uh, share it uh, where you can and yeah. hit that it's bell a, button it's please. the first one so we'd really appreciate it if you do if you do watch that video to share it just let people actually know what we're doing um just to get the word out there with um so this video this video hop we would really appreciate that yes shall That's i share good. a sneak peek of those two yeah go on you want a sneak peek? So this is a treat box. Ooh. With a honeybee. And this one, I actually, it's, it, there's a, nothing there. Hi Denise. There's nothing there. This is a prototype. This is a work in, the work I in progress. I did one for the butterflies. Uh, be upside down, aren't we? For the butterflies. And um, I thought the honeybee would work. Ooh. Okay, so this is a prototype yes. at the moment, so that's not finished, that's just a work in progress. So watch this space. Um, if anyone's interested in a tutorial for that one, let us know and we'll see what we can do for you. Cool. So I'm not seeing any comments come up. Do I need to push that button there? No, I don't need to push that button, button there. Oh, there we go. That's oh, there it. we go. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Hi, Mar uh Mona? So Mona, I think, Mona? from Germany. Yes, yeah. probably pronouncing that completely, completely wrong, but we're sorry, but thank you for joining us. Um, okay, okay, so let's crack let's on. Crack on um, and we'll go from there. You'll have yeah. to monitor the comments because I haven't put a laptop out in yeah, front of me, fine. unless you want to put the laptop up in front of us so I can see. Okay, did you but, want the tablet? No, it's probably easier with the, lap with the laptop. Right, let's flip you round. No, don't pinch my seat. Oh, there we go. Okay, so as mentioned already, we are using the breathtaking bouquet. Um, oh. As well as a label me bold and a good morning magnolia stamp set. And we're going to be both, both of us are actually going to be working on the one card today. So I'm going to be doing the easy stuff. <laughs> and Jay's going to be giving you a bit of a coloring, um, a coloring bit tutorial inspiration so you can watch his amazing coloring i'm just gonna block color yeah, i'm just gonna block color yeah i know but your block coloring is still amazing so all right so i'm gonna take some balmy blue so we're gonna go with your non-traditional colors for this we're not going to your typical flowers so your pinks and your reds and your yellows we're going blue so i'm going to cut my card base so this is going to be down to 14 and a half centimeters okay and then what I want to then do is I want to then score it at ten and a half. So rotate and score. And that's going to create my card base. Okay. So you'll be able to create two card bases from, from one piece of A4 cardstock. So that's good. What you're also going to need to do is you're going to need to take some Whisper White cardstock. All right. And we want to cut this down to the same width as the card so which is at ten and a half centimeters it doesn't really matter about the height at the moment because what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop this in now there's no right or wrong way of this what i want you to do is i want you to we're going to cut it at a diagonal so it's going to be 
So this is a side I want to use. So I'm just going to cut at a diagonal here. I've not like I've not got any proper measurements for this. I'm just doing it whatever diagonal I think looks good. And we're just going to chop. So there we go. We created a diagonal. So you've technically got two cards here. So you can use this one for the other other piece. So you can chop it down a little bit more to make it smaller. So you can kind of get two two pieces. But this is a bit which I'm going to use first. All right. Maybe um measure how high. Okay, Those yeah, are. I could do just to give people a bit of a, an indication. So like I said, it was ten and a half centimetres that way. So, all right, so I've, I've done this here, which is three and a half centimetres. So from that one to six and a half. So what you could do, all right, I'm going to... Whereas me just winging it and just going, oh, we just do it this way. What you would do is grab your piece of paper. You want to mark three and a half centimetres on this side here. And then we want to mark six and a half centimetres. So this is if you want to do it exactly the same as me. But this is how you would do it as well. So you can get a rough idea of what the diagonal is going to be. Then grab your trimmer in again. Ooh. The, um, grab your trimmer and then line those two pencil marks up. So pencil mark to pencil mark. And then cut. And then that way you will have... You're right. You will have an identical piece right there. Okay, so you'll have two. So you can have one that way and then you can also have one going that way. So you can actually have two cards if you wanted to. All right, so coming back to my card base, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over now and fold and burnish, all right? Get that good and, good and scored. And great. So that's that one. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in my Stamparatus, okay? Just going to remove that one for a moment. So I've got this all set up nicely. So I'm going to pop my stamper out. Pop this. So I've already popped the breathtaking bouquet on the one side here, um, and that's all lined up. I'm not going to butt it up against the top here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use. We've put some little. Um, we've made a right angle down the bottom down here with some washi tape, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some more washi tape for this one because normally you would use the. Um, if you were just using the using the stamp apparatus to stamp push a part a part of this, you'd use your magnets. But because this is a whole background stamp and it's going to cover the whole lot, I can't really use the magnets on it, so it's a little bit trickier. And I'm also deciding to actually stamp on the whole piece that on the actual card base itself. So I'm lining it up with the right angle down the bottom down here. Okay, and all I'm going to then do is I'm just gonna pop some washi tape on the inside just to hold it in place, all right? So this washi tape is actually quite low tack or some low tack tape, anything which you've got which is low tack, which won't, um, which won't destroy the card as you pull it off. So you need to make sure it's gonna be suitable enough. That card's not moving anywhere now, that's in there. So I've got it in my right angle down the bottom down here and down here, all right? So, we're going to go tone on tone. So I'm going to be using, I've used Balmy Blue cardstock, so I'm also going to use Balmy Blue ink as well. So let's bring this over a little bit. Let's move this. There we go. And I'm going to just also, because I just like to, just pop a stamp set underneath this one. Just gives, just raises it up, just makes that platform just a little bit more secure. Especially Hi, when, when stamping. <clears throat> so I'm just going literally stamp, ink pad to stamp. Okay, could you also get me the um, the chamois, please? Could you just wet the chamois down a little bit for me? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. It starts. <laughs> it starts. Well, you, you start as well. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to get that nice and inked up. And then we're just going to bring this over. So I'm just going to hold this down a little bit and then I'm just going to bring this over and then stamp. 
So just squidge it around a few places. So if you haven't got a stamping platform, and this is also really quite a good, um, the stamping, the stamp practice is actually a really good one, especially for larger stamps. Sometimes people can't hold the big blocks, they're really, and they're heavy. So if you struggle with that, then I think a stamp apparatus is definitely something you should think about investing in. And you know what the best thing is, though? it's at that perfect price point, so you get a freebie item as well, so you'll get to choose a free celebration item. So there we go, there is the first generation, okay? But the glory with the stamp apparatus is I wanna just, I just wanna intensify this just a tad bit more, okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ink up my stamp again, because the paper hasn't moved, the stamp hasn't moved, I feel confident that I can just go straight back over, ink up this stamp again here. I can go straight back over again and give it another second inking. And this is also perfect if you miss stamp something, you miss ink something and you go, oh, you've missed a little bit over here, just ink up the stamp again and then replace it. And you can see I've now got a perfect image again and it's just intensified it just that little bit more. Okay, but if I've missed a little bit, that's also what you would do. So good. So I just asked Jay to get me the chamois and all it is is just, it's just a, a wet foam cloth, but obviously it's designed for, for use with the stamparatus. And then we will just take off the excess and just clean it. And the good thing is that it doesn't get your fingers that dirty. Or if, it, if anything, it actually doesn't really, unless you touch the the ink as soon as well, as soon as you've wiped it off. But if you if you use baby wipes, you'll know what I mean. If you use baby wipes, you find that you've got your your hands will turn the colour of what it is, but your hands don't. Okay, so invest in the chamois as well. So good. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to remove this because that's all done. I'll just stick that on there for another time and that's good. So there's my card base done and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this and I'm going to bring over the plate which has got the magnolia on it. So I'm gonna let's see whether or not that's the correct size for that. I'm just going to position that in a way. I don't want, I'm not fussed about this flower on this one, so that's not a major issue for me. So if it doesn't quite stamp out, it's not a problem. Um, I'm going to grab the magnet. I'm just going to have a little look at the positioning here. I think it was about there. That's good. So I've just gone one square away from the edge and I'm just going to pop the magnet in place here just so it doesn't move. And all I'm going to do now with this one is I'm going to just stamp this one in the Memento ink. Okay. Because Jay's going to be doing a bit of colouring with the blends, so the alcohol blends, stamping blends. Um, because he's doing that, we need to make sure that we use a water-based ink pad. So which is why we're going to be using Memento ink for this this one so anything which is water based uh, if you were coloring with water you would use a permanent ink so your stays on would be the one which you would use okay and that's a question which people ask a lot as well so hopefully that's cleared that up all right so that's in like so So I'm going to just intensify this again a little bit more. I think this is the non-new, or is this the new ink pad which we've got here? Um, you can normally do tell by the lid. <laughs> this is quite a well-used lid, so. The new one should be next to you as well. Oh yeah, I see it over there. So I'm just doing that again, and I'm just going to just intensify that black ink just a little bit more. There you go, that's it. Let's use the new ink pad, let's see. Oh yeah, new. Okay. 
There we go. There we go, that's good and dark now. That's it. <laughs> it's good and dark. All right, so there we go. And you see, I stamped that three times. I didn't move the paper, I didn't move the, the stamp, and I've got a perfect placement every single time. So, lovely tool, Stamparatus, your stamping platform. Grab my chamois once again, just to clean that off. And, so, and the, the stamp still hasn't moved, so if I wanted to come back and do another one in a different color or a different ink, so it stays on ink, so I can watercolor it. It doesn't matter as long as I position the paper one square away, it will work. So good, that is my stamping platform done. All right, so we've got that sorted. So what I also want to do is, uh, this now needs to get die cut out, so maybe Jay can just go and die cut that for me. Yep. Okay. What's your dice? I think it's still in the big shot. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Okay. So I said earlier on I'm going to be using the Label Me Bold um, stamp set here as well. So I'm going to turn this into a happy birthday. Okay. And this is, this is becoming a very, um, very popular stamp set of ours because we like this bold. We like the black and the white and the contrast it gives us. We're really enjoying it. So I'm just going to stamp that up. There's a cat hair right on there. There we go. That's good. So I'm just going to stamp that in the middle. Thank you very much. Hey, to me. What time is it? I think he's telling you it's dinner time. What time is it? They tell you when it's dinner time. And even if you're not using the Stamparatus and you've got and you've got the chamois, then you can use it as well for just cleaning your stamps. And again, I still have clean fingers. And we we store ours in a D, in one of the DVD cases which you can buy as well from us. And what we've actually done is we've got a little um, we've got a little handheld drill, um, which we've just drilled some and poked some holes in this in the DVD case, and all that does is it just gives it a bit of an air hole in there, so it just allows it just to breathe a little bit. So otherwise, if you close it down and it's damp, it still does still do get the problem. But if you close it down and it's damp and there's no way of the air getting out, obviously it's going to go. It's going to start smelling because obviously it's damp. So which is why we put the holes in there, just so it allows it to breathe a little bit and obviously dry naturally and without smelling or going mouldy because obviously it's wet and it's a cloth. So it can go mouldy if you don't treat it correctly and start smelling. So drill some holes, get some DVD cases and drill some holes in it. So I'm also now just going to just cut this out. What are you doing, Jay? I'm just checking something. Have you done a prototype of the colouring already? Mm. So Jay's going to come in and do some colouring for you in a moment. So if you like his colouring or you want to just learn some colouring techniques, watch his video. Stay tuned for his for his video. All right. So all I'm doing now is because it's a, it's a nice, easy stamp to hand cut. I'm just going round, leaving a white border and leaving it like that. And I think that's a lovely, lovely sentiment. All right. So with this one, I did, didn't want this bottom part here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to just follow this line around. I'm going to give, obviously, just give it a little bit of a stalk there so that we've got roughly the same gap. I'm just going to nip in nip in there and there we go so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hand over to Jay 
I didn't give you any warning then, Jay, did no, I? You did. Um, Jay, I'm ready for you. Okay. <laughs> Great. And Jay's, what Jay's going to do now is he's going to come in and he's going to colour this. Um, he's going to come in and colour this lovely magnolia plant, flower and leaves. And um, yeah, then we will then go into the construction of the card once that has all been done. So stay tuned. Jay's just about to come and wow you with his colouring. <laughs> don't pick it up too bit. much. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> right. There we go. All right, let's pass you over to Jay. And here he is. Hello. Tommy, come on. Hello, Tommy. Right, so we recently got the Pretty Peacock stamping blend. So I thought, why not use that? So I will. <laughs> um, and I've got the ever so useful color lifter there. And I thought I'll incorporate ivory as well because normally ivory is good for skin tones. Um, but we don't really have any. It's actually a really nice color. It's not a pink. It's earthy. It's earthy. Yeah. It's actually quite a nice color. I've started using it myself recently, and it's yeah. actually a really nice color to use for a lot of things. So I thought I'll incorporate that with it, and as well as shaded spruce for the leaves. Let's have a look. The leaves. The leaves, as um, Barry would say. <laughs> So I'll just quickly do the leaves first. I'm just gonna block color in shaded, light shaded spruce. This is really dark. This um, is this thick whisper white? It is, yes. Mm. Yeah, that is three. I had to stamp that three times. Oh, okay. I see. So because I wasn't happy because I think we've used the um some non um the running out ink. So that, and then I used to think so it is quite dark. So, hi Sandra. And because I just want to block color, I'm using the brush tip, but I'm using it sideways, and not the pointed way. Because um, if you use it that that way often. To just kind of like get the tiny bit that will blunt your brush tip really quickly so use it sideways and make use of the the width of that brush okay <laughs> right um dark shaded spruce so i'm gonna use the bullet tip so that's for your fine Kind of like shadows or definition. It's this gap here, there. So I'm just following where the stamp image has shadows, and I'm not gonna um, blend that in just for quickness. He says, oh, maybe that would be funky. So you can go back in with your light and then bl blend that in a bit more if you want to. So I'm just going back in, following the shadows. And then finally this one, and then I'll do the flower. It's a really quick card for us tonight, Jack. <laughs> Is it? Sorry, yeah. I'm not done yet. <laughs> So you get the idea. So that's for that. And so pretty peacock, how blue are you? I think you're quite dark. So I'm just gonna nip. I'll do the nib and nib. So I'm just opening it up. So it's easy. So I'm going to go in with the dark peacock again, following the edges and 
the shade shadows. Uh, this is the light one. Again, just going in next to the dark. And then ivory going in the edges where that's been gone. And on top. And then your lifter. So I'm just going to go over again to blend that in. So that's pretty much the kind of like most of this card or this flower would look like. I'm just going to go in the corners, blend it in with the light. Come in with the ivory. And then with the color lifter. If you want a more blended dark area, you would go in with your light first. And then go in with the, the dark. But sometimes it doesn't give enough like shades I think but it is a bit more blended Ooh. and then your eye Ooh. Suki. is that Suki? Yeah, Suki's a little bit struck in the There's lots of petals, so bear with. <laughs> he said, I was just gonna block through. Yeah. Hi, Lisa. Oklahoma. Wow. Oh, hello. Okay. Right. Oh, <laughs> huh? Just gonna block, I'm just gonna block. I know, sorry. No, Can, that's fine. Do no, I, I need to zoom in? People want to, people want to see. Do we want to zoom in? I have zoomed in already. Have you zoomed in? <laughs> yes. That is a zoomed in version. Nearly there. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight more. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Well, people are going to learn, hopefully, from it. This is kind of like why I don't really do coloring videos because it does take a long time to um sit there and watch but if people are yeah people uh, do people mind watching jay color or um do you want us to do something else in the background whilst jay colors in the background and i'll do something on camera let us know Louise says, I would love to tutorial for the honeybee card. Ooh. Yes, I, I can probably, um, I've got, I'm wanting to do two videos before we go on holiday next Friday. Um, so I'll see what I can do. Because, yes, a couple of blog hops are going live whilst we're away so um, as previously mentioned creating kindness global stamping video hop and paper crop crew and I think that's it actually but I've used honeybee dye grace's garden and what else did I use I think that was, we've been um, doing a lot with the honeybee recently. Hmm, I wonder why. Thanks, Sandra. <laughs> You've been doing a lot with what, sorry? A lot of honeybees. Yeah, because you stole somebody's. No, I borrowed it. <laughs> I didn't think I would like it, so we didn't get it, but... 
it's actually really cool. People want to see you colour, so don't rush. Okay. Okay, people the same want to see your colouring technique. So slow down a little bit. So is there any questions you've got? If there's any questions on colouring at all, which um, Jay can help you with, fire away. I'm just going back in with the ivory for the inside bits where I want it darker. And I'm going to leave the folded petals um, if it's going to be lighter in a way. And that's done, that's done. It's just dark. Light. Ivory. And lifter. And I'll probably bring out my trusted friend, my <laughs> the chalk marker. <laughs> I love the chalk, stamping white chalk marker, so great for highlights and colouring. So if you do make a mistake as well, um, you can try and use that for correction. Oh, one more. There we go. So dark, light, ivory. Oh, can you get me yellow, please? Yellow, what yellow? Uh, mango melody. Light or dark? Light, please. Let's have a look how that works. Uh, I think it's light. If, if I'm going to go by the colour of lid. It is light, that's fine. <laughs> Blame me again. Right, uh, let's have a look. So, chalk marker, well used, the, um, yeah, the, mar <laughs> the marking's going, but, yes, you got it, you might Jay as well Butler use it. has just asked you a question, Jay. Oh yeah, what was it? Does Jay have a painter's background? I do have um, a fine art painting degree, um, and I did art for GCSE A-levels. But uh, Barry and I was actually discussing, um, he was like, you should use your degree. And I was like, even though my degree is fine art painting, I didn't actually learn how to technically do stuff like this. I think I would say that's more illustrators uh, with the fine art painting. I, it's more conceptual. Um, so it's like the ideas and things like that, if that made sense. Um, I did do life drawing. Um, whilst there so um yes so did that you did draw. I yeah I did draw but it's more you practice in your own time and um things like that if that makes sense but yes I do have um you do like have an art background an art background yeah. in a way right I'm just kind of like just going over again where I want the dark to the darker areas to be darker. <laughs> That's cool. And here, maybe there. I think that is done. So whilst Barry was actually um, talking, uh, doing his his bit on the card, I was actually so coloring well. as well. Uh, what other areas do I need? I think that's done. Pretty. Which um, I did a lot more of the ivory, which is this one. So you can see ooh, that's more ivory and then just a hint of the P 
peacock and then this one um just the highlights of the for the ivory and the more peacock <laughs> if that makes sense i think jan's just asked to say do you find that the blends lighten with tr with drying i think they do they do and uh especially with the color lifter um they it takes a while for it to kind of like um react bleed the ink yeah, yeah so that's it. It. so even after you've colored it it may still react with it a little bit as well. So, is it, so when you look and come back to it, it might be a little bit lighter. So, but yeah, I think it's the same with the inks though as well. The inks dry, um, the, the ink pads, they dry different color as that. Well, they don't dry a different color, but they go, that they, they mute themselves a little bit as it run out. Um, it normally takes a while for it to um, come again. But you could um, splatter. I've just created a couple of dots on there. But because it's quite dark, you can't really see. If I wanted to add more, kind of like just dot it with pigment pen. But that's fine. Well, you've got time. You you're not happy with it. No, it's it's nice. I just wanted more interest. Yeah, okay, uh, I don't think you'll you'll see it. So this is just a pigment pen. Um, I've had this since ages, actually. If you want, yeah, you can't really see it. It's just to add. You could do, if you wanted more blobs, you can, um, well, let's, let's do blobs. I want some blobbings. Oh no. See that you're teaching everybody stuff tonight. So at least it's just said, you didn't know you could use a chalk marker to highlight. Yes, so yeah. that's what I use for the... Um, it's his favourite tool at the moment. The little ladybug flowers as well. Um, so wait for it to dry a little bit and then... Where are the little ladybugs? They're in here, aren't they? Yeah. So if you don't want to dot again, uh, you can um, omit this bit, but or you can splatter because I think our chalk marker is running out. Surprise, surprise. Okay, I know we've shown that card already, haven't we? Uh, not not, not yet, yet, no, no, because that's going in a couple of weeks. Okay. You can get a sneak peek, I guess. Well, I was just going to show yeah, the highlighting stuff. Yeah. Do you want to, you can yeah. talk that one through then with a the highlight because it just shows out the chalk marker on that one again. So this is for, don't tell anyone, paper craft go in two weeks time. <laughs> Between us <laughs> and everybody else. Just, everybody else is watching it, the world. <laughs> but don't tell anyone. <laughs> but it's a sneak peek. Okay, okay. there you go. It was so. a highlighting again. It's using the chalk marker on the wings there just to highlight. So, yeah. So if you haven't got a chalk marker, it's I think it's one which you need to put in your stash as well. Yeah. It's one, so it's definitely a, it's not one you'll go to all the time, but it's one which you will, I think, will definitely complement your colouring. And this is my four black technique. Um, <laughs> your, my four black technique. Your four black or your faux black. Faux black. I don't know how you say it. Whatevs. There you go. Right, I'm going to stop because I'll just be forever dotting. Um, yes, so we'll zoom out. So I think that one looks nice. Any of these? I think initially, yeah, that one there. And you're going to have cover it down? So I was going to, yeah, I would go down straight. I, I was wanting... Straight. The, yes, yeah, so that, yeah, yeah. and then I oh, went flat. I was thinking, and then I reckon raise the... Um, that. on dimensionals so you can either go what well, it depends on what way you want to go you can either go that way or that way whatever way looks best i think this way myself can i color uh, i've got this you thing can, about yeah. coloring that the um 
Oh, maybe a yellow because it will bring out the yellow in there. Oh, you like colouring it? Yeah, the letters. Yes. And just leaving the other one white. <laughs> and then that will just bring that out. And I did think of using the Thoughtful Blooms. We did have it out. Um, because if you do have the magno if you get the magnolia dice and st stamps and bundles or stamparatus or stamparatus like you can get this for free with a 45 the punch. pound spend of 90 pound with the punch 90 pounds oh, no, with the, the punch the punch is, uh, is a 90 pound yeah so yeah it's an investment to get the two free of charge but if you are thinking of getting a few things you can quite easily get it so instead of the flower i think I might do some stamping on Ooh, this. Okay, yeah. Uh, with with that. Yeah. Lovely. Or just that. We've got a couple of pieces, so if it doesn't okay. go quite right then. Yeah, okay. Balmy blue, right? See this is all this is all unscripted. We haven't made this card at all yet, so we we've got we kind of had the idea. But you're, you're again. You're seeing our thought process of how we're, of how we're constructing, designing. Right, just in case, I'm just gonna do that. Blockings. There's some the Barbie blue should be with you somewhere. Still. It's right here. Yeah. Right. It looks darker on there actually. It looks um, peacocky. So if that's gonna be there, I just want hints of it. There we go. Just to add some interest onto that panel. Yeah. I think that uh, you've already got loads of flowers in there and I think bringing out the punch blooms will probably just make it too much. So I'm gonna not do that. And I think I'm happy with that. Or you can splatter. I like splattering, but that's too random. Splatter. That's too random. And um, but I'll show you how to splatter with oh, the blends. So, what are you looking at? I'm looking at. Well, see, I'm looking at the video, and obviously it's a little bit delayed to what you're actually oh, saying. So I've only just actually seen what you've done. I'm using the dark, uh, pretty peacock. Yeah, the dark pretty peacock with the brush tip, and just push it against and lightly splatter your work. Yeah, maybe a bit more. <laughs> Again, that's random. So um, if you are batch making it, it won't be the same. Did you want to finish up your card? No, I think you're doing such a great job though. I haven't checked that day. <laughs> You're doing such a great job, I think you should kind of carry on. Okay, I'll just finish up then. Lisa's just said, adding chalk marker to the ladybugs is now on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chalk marker everything. He is chalk markering everything. <laughs> I, I, oh yeah, I did a bit video today. I chalk marker that one. Um... Yeah, why not? Right. So we're just gonna use the foam pads. Oh, I don't have nails. So use your take your pick tool. Mm. 
Mm. There you go. I always use too much, so sometimes I just cut it. <laughs> It's like cat hair everywhere. Right, that is done. We haven't um marked these. Sorry. Marker the. Uh, no, we haven't. Yeah, we haven't done it on all, but sometimes it's just nice to know that it's which areas you need. There. And this one is gonna go there. Any gems or anything like that? Yes, please. What do you want? Pearls. <gasps> we can have pearls. Left or right? I don't want it. I want it to. Um, left. I think left myself. I think left as well. I'm just gonna cut that slightly. Like my colouring rude, my my trimming rude. Are you sure that's not um, Posey yeah. Seaside Spray? It looks Seaside Spray. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is Seaside Spray. Sorry, I, I, actually, I think it is Seaside Spray. Because I was gonna say. I know you said that. I've. You need. So I said Barmy Blue. <laughs> Did you open the pack like? With the um, the lights are Seaside Spray. See, I I thought so. Okay, so I should have used a different impact. Yeah. So it's not tone on tone. It's not tone on tone. But it looks nice. But it does look nice. That's, that should have been the... Um... So you can't be calling this tone on tone. <laughs> I can't be calling it tone on tone because it isn't tone on tone. It's, it's a nice accident. It's a good accident. Right, I'm only putting half because the other half will go on the... Because when you put the gems in, the disc gems, I was like, oh, that looked the same. Then that made me think, it's not balmy blue. go seaside so in color mm, I think I need to get rid of the old putty and do we need to change well we haven't had to do that for a while let's squeeze it in squeeze too much oh well <laughs> mm, I just Ooh. dropped it that's where it's living now and all Heather says right, <laughs> right. <laughs> see oh no sorry <laughs> see I, I get too carried away just like looking at what I'm doing so sorry if I don't look at the um, comments in time. It's 
And this is now tone on tone with embellishments and cardstock. <laughs> I'm always like, if that that point is there, I don't want it near it, but it can go there because it goes wee. Anything I'm explain else? Explain that a little bit more rather than just go wee. <laughs> <laughs> so my thing is, I tend to do two embellishment or well, odd embellishment. You can put more, but um, you can do five or seven. But I always either put one near the sentiment or um, one on its own and then the other two bundled together so because the layout has got the slanting going up like that i didn't want it to mimic the slant of on the embellishment so i had it th going the other way does okay. that make sense yeah that makes sense and then obviously I, it does follow that to there so that line like that so it follows that line and then it goes off to the page. Hence why Jay just went wee. <laughs> just went wee. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I normally do it. So um, sometimes I, I, I get, um, I just have to follow a rule because I, I can't just put place it like there and there and there and there. It has to follow my rule if that makes sense. I'm sure you, you guys. Um, but everybody has different rules, has but different I, I think you like yours to flow or wee. For yeah, yourself. to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> flow like. Yes. <laughs> right, I think that is it. I think we are done actually. Aren't Did we? you want to create a second card with that? Oh. Different card quickly? Oh, what, oh, what can you do? Well, the one that you've already done. Do you want me to cut your card base? No, you can. You've oh. already got a card base, I thought. Here. So Barry's done one. Oh, my prototype earlier on. And then you can. You can do, um... Well, you're doing such a good job, Jack. Heather's right-hand side. I don't want to carry on. <laughs> oh, okay, then. <laughs> because... Right, I'll, I'll... Because I feel a little bit upstage now after all of that lovely colouring. So, see, so I'll do that in Seaside Spray, then. Um, did you bring it here? It yeah, I've got it. So, let's see. Seaside Spray, tone on tone, as Barry <laughs> Well, not so tone on tone. In this lighting which we've got there, it actually did look like balmy blue. But I'm actually going to have to get balmy blue out now to actually Yeah, see it's really, it actually balmy blue is really blue. Um, seaside spray. Oh, we do. Mm. No, um, it's subtle. Mm. Okay, I'll do it down here instead. Okay, <laughs> bit of a difference there. Yeah, so seaside spray, balmy blue. It's just gonna look the same as the other card if I'm doing it. I thought you can do one, but I've already continued. And we'll do it on the right hand side. Maybe use pearls this time instead yeah. of the accents. Yeah, I, I was going to. Or oh, was that suggested as well? I don't think so, but... Here we go. Here. Right. I won't use as much this time, <laughs> he says.
That's Tamparatus Machiavis. On the on. Sorry? Here. You left one. I, I, I knew I was looking for a magnet. Where was it? On the... Was it on the scissors? Yeah. Not going to use as many. How many did you use on the first one? <laughs> More than this. <laughs> I think I, I did only one less. Maybe one or two less. It's still less. Now, if I do it... It's, do you want to finish it? You can finish it, hon. Go. You finish it with the embellishment. No. Scared now. And your sentiment. Okay. On the right. We need to cut it down a little bit as well, don't we? Okay. I'll, I can I'll, do that. Yeah? Okay. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna carry on now. Check if Jay a breather. So I'm just gonna um just gonna just snip this down, make that a little bit of a closer cut like Jay's made on the first one. What colour were you going to colour the birthday in the first time round? Because you changed your mind halfway through and decided to go yellow. I was going to colour it in green. Is shaded that going to be spruce. a bit too dark? That's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, but the light shaded spruce um, is, is light. <laughs> Look, it, it'll be the same as that. Okay, so we'll colour this one in the, um, the light shaded spruce. Why am I so, why, what am I doing wrong? Jay's watching me. <laughs> so you're doing it completely and utterly wrong. Well, one of my tip was, if you're just gonna not color, if you're coloring the tip, don't use the brush tip. Okay, I obviously was. Because you're gonna blunt your brush. <laughs> That's why our brushes are so blunt. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it is, it's probably because I do. You, you I, do have, like, I have my way, you have your yeah, way. Yeah, you do like colouring with the brush tip more. I do, yeah. Um, I, I colour more with the bullet. Yeah, I colour more with the brush. Weird. So we're going to go on the right hand side on that one, but I think we need a bit of wink. Yeah? Yes, because it's um, the memento should be dry by now. and um, Do I wink at all? I'm going to start by winking the... Just the, be careful with the, because of the dotted, their pigment as okay. well. I'm just gonna... So... I'm just gonna start by winking the... the petals. And I'm not spending too much time on it, like Jay said, because it's used some pigment, which is gonna potentially run with some water. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Otherwise, we're, we're start, the, the colours will start running. So can you see on the video what's going on on this? Oh, sorry. I'm, we... I'm watching you. <laughs> Gian said, just got on. So Maybe we watch. just need to um, zoom in a little bit. Yeah, so I think. Yeah. That's showing up, isn't it? Yes, it does, yeah. All right, so that's just given those a nice... You know what, I'm going to... Are you going to do all, all of them? I don't know. What do you reckon? No, I'm going to leave it as it is, actually, because I think it just gives it a nice... Oh, shall I, shan't I? Wink it all or not wink it. Let me know. I will come back. All right, so just go on. So the, um, that's going to go on the right hand side, but we will just see what's going to happen. Did you put that on the phone, Paddy? You You're too close. Oh. Um... Mm. 
the side you know what i was actually thinking that gian as well i was thinking maybe the center of the flower so good i'm gonna go with your that was fast. <laughs> wow um when you zoomed out so heather said i missed the beginning what is the background seaside spray background yes so um the yeah card the the card base is seaside spray i did say balmy blue um, but I got myself a bit confused and thought I was using Barmy Blue and picked up Seaside Spray by mistake. Um, so it's Seaside Spray, but the actual stamping is done with the um, Breathtaking Bouquet stamp set and using the Barmy Blue ink pad. Okay, so it's Barmy Blue ink on top of Seaside Spray cardstock. Um, I did say at the beginning it was tone on tone, and I completely and utterly lied to you all. <laughs> so there we go. All right, so I've I've just gone there. Obviously, that Gian said um, we could still have some of the small round of leaves. Um, oh, in the background. Um, so that's. Uh, I think I'll do like cut. I'll, I'll have a little look around afterwards with the winking. I won't do it all completely now, but I think you just. I quite like the the difference so you get a little bit of glitter on those and then your eye kind of like goes to it and you yeah. think oh where is it rather than the whole thing just glittering at you you tend to want to look at it and go what what's glittered and what isn't so you your people might actually who's getting it will might actually want to look at it a little bit longer <laughs> so that is going to go in the right corner now with um you probably don't need don't a phone need a phone pad, pad on that one there no because there's enough um, there's enough of it, it's stuck enough to the flower. So we're just going to pop a little bit of glue on those bits there. And we're just going to stick that down on the right hand sides. You zoomed up too much. You're ruining the illusion. Am I ruining <laughs> the illusion what, of, the, of the mess? <laughs> There we go. Is that kind of like hidden your mess yes. a little bit? Yeah. I can't say his mess because I'm not a messy crafter at all. <laughs> just push it all out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's no mess here whatsoever. Oh, what you're on about mess. <laughs> there's no mess. And so this time I think I'm going to use the basic rhinestones here for this particular one. So I'm going to follow Jay's, um, Jay's rule. Are you going to do it the other way? I might actually go because he's got this one. If we look on this one here, it's got the embellishment has gone under the the sentiment. So I think what I do is I use one of these and I'm going to pop that round here. I'm not going to stick it down too much at the moment. I'm going to take some of the smaller ones. And then one of the smaller ones, at least, the, or the mid-sized one. And so, okay, if we follow Jay's rule, it's that way. So we're kind of going to go the opposite. So rather than going that way, we're going to go. So I'm going to pop one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to pop one. Oh, no, I'm, I'm reading. Jay's watching me, and I think I'm getting very paranoid now. But this is um, wrong. And we're going to go one. No, I don't like it. And why don't you like it? Because it doesn't quite... F it doesn't wee at me. It doesn't wee at me. It doesn't yeah. wee at me. You have to be happy with your embellishments. <laughs> it doesn't... <laughs> Anyone who's coming on here and, and has missed this and knows me going, it doesn't wee at me, is going to think we've gone completely utterly loopy. Wee. So mine weed. Yours, your wee is straight up. But your wee would have gone that way, which is the same. No, I don't like it. <laughs> Just put it where you want it. I'm gonna go more there. Yeah, I, yeah, that's it. Oh, I don't know, I'm stuck. We'll go there. 
So that's where I'm gonna stick down and go. So there we go, that is some two cards done there. So the same, but are slightly different. So with the slightly different layout, um, with the positioning of the sentiment, positioning of the embellishments as well. So, and slightly, and colouring it slightly differently. So that's how those two have turned out. And using the correct card colour, which then matches the card base. But I think that works quite nicely. Yeah. I think the, the colour, the Barney Blue and the Seaside Spray yeah. still worked well with each other. It hasn't, it's a happy accident, that one. So, um, at least you, at least you know for future reference that they work well with each other. Yeah. So good. So let's flip the camera around, I think. Yes. And we will say goodbye to you all. There we go. So. One. And, and two. two. All right. So, two cards made tonight with the breathtaking bouquet and the Good Morning Magnolia stamp sets. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, they've actually come out quite nice, I'm actually with those yeah are you surprised yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you why, are you so why, why are you so surprised why are you so surprised and he hasn't even had a drink yet yeah yeah no i haven't oh oh hello minnie you gonna come up and say yeah. hello yes yeah, so the same blends used on oh. both flowers but just you um concentrated more in the ivory on the left or yeah on my left and pretty peacock on the right and that's mini and this is mini mini's mini's come to join us this evening hey no it's that's silky good. that normally doesn't no she's she's, she's sat for well if you can like can you see her in the middle <laughs> she likes her own space normally up you get right so yeah thanks again for joining us uh don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you have um, enjoyed this video and get inspired with uh, the coloring, the stamps, sets, and yes, just had a nice e evening. <laughs> yeah, a nice evening coloring. So we will be back on Wednesday night, won't we? That will be our last. And that will be our last live. one before we go. That will be our last live before we go on holiday. Um, and hopefully it won't be Jay's last live because we're going somewhere very, very cold and he's a little bit scared. <laughs> so, so cold. yes, hopefully he'll come back in one piece and won't come back as like an icicle. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's good. Come. All right, you're going to come and say goodbye Ooh. as well, Tommy. There you go. All right. So good. All right. So thank you all for watching. Thank you. Um, thank you for stay, sticking with us. What I said was actually going to be a quite quick video. It's turned into being 73 minutes See, long. Um, so, yeah. Thank you all for watching this. Remember, you to go onto our online shop if you want to. And I'm going to get a claw down my back now. Um, over there. Oh, man. <laughs> um. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Great. Barry. That's it. He's got all the cats. I'm free. I'm good. So um, head over to our online shop, hit the subscribe button, and um, yeah, we'd appreciate you and following us. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching. Thank Say goodbye you. to the cats. See you later. Bye. Bye.